Hello, everyone, and welcome to our very first episode of the Maverick Showdown here on CMU-TV. This is our very brand new game show. Four categories, five questions per category. Each question is going to be with one points, and out of our three contestants, whoever has the most points at the end of all the questions will win. I'm your host, Sean Sullivan. Let's meet our contestants. Starting with contestant number one, say your name and major. Hello, my name is McCoy Beta, and I am a, an electrical and computer engineering major. What do you want to electrify and computer engify in the future, McCoy? I think it would be really cool to help bring robots into like the mainstream use into this world. Mainstream kind of robots. You're a big AI fan, I hear. Yes. Big AI fan. All righty. Cousin number two, what's your name? What's your major? My name is Jackson Huber, and I'm a finance major. Finance major. Do you have big finance aspirations in your future, Jackson? Be financially secure. Financially secure. That's Jackson, let me ability. ask you a different question. Okay. If you could be on any other game show besides Maverick Showdown, what game show would that be? Family Feud. Family Feud. So you're quick with the answers, I hear. Yes. I guess very we'll quick. find out. You will find out. Cousin number three, what's your name and what's your major, sir? Uh, Max Moreland and Computer Science. Max, what brought you to CMU? Uh, I transferred here after failing out at um, a school of mine. You failed out at a school of mine, so you're saying trivia may not be in your alley. I'm <laughs> hoping this is a little easier than engineering classes, but yeah. Well, I guess we will find out. The stage is set, and so are we. Let's dive right into it. McCoy, pick our first category. Uh, let's do sports. Sports and contestants. We will stick with one category for all five of our questions. Mm -hmm. Let's roll for the first point of the day. Our first sports question is... Not showing up on the TV. Not showing up on the graphics. Our first sports question is... Omaha, the sheriff is in town and is bringing his Hall of Fame jacket and two Super Bowl rings. Max, you buzzed in first. That would be Peyton Manning. Is it Peyton Manning? It is Peyton Manning. One point for Max. Contestant push and hold. All right, we are reset for question number two. <coughs> question number two is, known as the King of Clay, this tennis superstar has won unprecedented 14 French Open singles titles. Max. Is that Roger Federer? Is it Roger Federer? No, it is not. Cool. It is Rafael <laughs> Nadal. <laughs> Brutal. Let's reset our lights, contestants. For our third question of the day, it is, he may be a movie star now, but don't mess with this people's champ or he may hit you with a rock bottom. Rock bottom. Oh. We jumped the gun. <laughs> it is the rock and no one buzzed in. So no questions on, no points on that one. We're still with our next sports question. It is, Always eat your vegetables, kids, and you may turn out like this. 2022 Con Smythe winning defender, Jackson. Who is Kale McCarr? Is it Kale McCarr? It is Kale McCarr. Max with a point. Jackson with a point. McCoy yet to get on the board. Let's see if he can get on the board with our final sports question, which is, Core is in session when this all-star outfielder is up to bat, and he has over 40 home runs to prove it. Outfielder, 40 home runs. Any guesses? No guesses. The answer is Aaron Judge. Not a lot of baseball fans in the house. After our first sports round, we have Max with a point, and we have Jackson with a point. McCoy, you have to get on the board. Jackson, you got our last question correct. What category are we going to next? Let's, uh, let's go into music. We're going to music. Contestants, I will play you a snippet of a song. Okay. It'll be around seven seconds. Buzz in when you know it for a point. Our first song is... Any guesses? Not a lot of country no. fans in the house are here. <laughs> the answer was... Not that. The answer was Save a Horse by Big and Rich. Oh my. Save a Horse yeah. by Big and Rich. Yeah. No. Contestants, hopefully no more country songs. So this is going to be yeah. an entirely country music category. Our <laughs> oh, second no. song is... Oh, no. <laughs> 
Max, you buzzed in first. That would, oh, that would be Neon Moon. That was our third song, and that was Neon Moon. So you do get a question. You do get a point. Alrighty. We're going to jump now to our fourth song. Bear with us, contestants. This, as we said, this is our first episode of the Maverick Showdown, and there's going to be a lot of hiccups to come. Anyway, Max, two points. Jackson, one point. McCoy, yet to get on the board. Can he with our fourth song, which is... Any guesses? We don't get penalized for guessing, right? You do not get penalized for guessing. I encourage it. I can't think of that. Any guesses? Anyone? I'll take oh, man. artist or song. Max. Teenage Dreaming by Brad Paisley. No, I like your context clues there, but no. Any other guesses? Um, Kenny. Jackson, you have a guess? Kenny Chesney. It is by Kenny Chesney. I will give you a point. It was American. I was already on the board. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was on the board. board. It was already on the board. <laughs> You sneaky. Alrighty, our last song of the music category is... Is that our last song? No, we have one more, right? One more song, which is... Max, you buzzing right away. What is it? That would be Cruise by Florida Georgia Line. Is it Cruise by Florida Georgia Line? Yes, sir. Oh, Three points for Max, one point for Jackson McCoy. What's going on, man? Not a, not a country guy? No, nah, definitely not a country guy. <laughs> not a country guy, but are you? Max, pick your next category. Let's go pop culture. We're going pop culture. Oh, McCoy, let's see if you're a pop culture guy. Our first pop culture question is... Our second pop culture question is... Oh, wow. What did Miley Cyrus swing in on her Wrecking Ball music video? Jackson, you buzzed in first. Uh, a Wrecking Ball. Is it a Wrecking Ball? It is a Wrecking Ball. Two points for the J-Meister. Three points for Max. McCoy, I'm pulling for you, man. Can you get our third pop culture question, which is... What year did Britney oh, Spears shave your head? Max, you were eager to jump at this one. What is it? 2007? Is it? 2007. You bet your bottom dollar is 2007. That's your fourth point of the day, Max. You are rolling. Let's see what our next pop culture question is. What is... Lady Gaga's real name. Jackson. Wait, never mind. Do you want to guess? <laughs> you have the right to guess. Oh. I'll take a first name. Just guess a first name, contestants. Gianna. Gianna is not Gianna. <laughs> Max, what's your guess? I know it's Stephanie, and then I don't want to guess the last name if I'm going to get it wrong. He thinks it's Stephanie. Is it Stephanie? Stephanie with an F, it is. Oh. I'm not going to attempt those was... other three <laughs> names. Look at the picture, though. Max, you're at five. You're rolling. Are you just a hidden pop culture phenom? I guess I am. You guess you are. All righty. Let's see if you can continue your hot streak with this next pop culture question, which is how many kids does Chris Jenner have? I'll take a closest to the pin here, contestants. Well, Cole, you busting first. You get our first guess. But I'm throwing a curveball at you guys. Closest to the number of kids mm. that Chris Jenner has gets the point. McCoy, your guess is six. Six. Your guess, Jackson. Four. Four. Max, your guess. I was gonna guess four, so I'll go with five. You'll go with uh, five. She has ten kids. Oh, McCoy, geez. you are on the board. Yeah. Wow. Closest Finally. to the pin was McCoy. I'm guessing the litter of children <laughs> that Chris Jenner has. Was that our final pop culture question, or we have one more? That was our final pop culture question. Contestants, we're now going to movies, mm. which is our final category of the day. We have a point tally. McCoy, you have one point. Jackson, I believe you have three points. And Max, you are sitting atop now with five points. It is anyone's game at this point. McCoy, you're still in the running. Are you feeling confident going into this movie category? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Jackson, it depends sitting... on what kind of movies are being put forth. Depending on what kind of movies are being put forth. Jackson, you're sitting comfortably in the middle right now with a nice, cool three points. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to mount the comeback and become our very first Maverick 
showdown winner. Yeah, we'll have to see what these questions look like, but I'm feeling pretty good in second place right now. Max, you're sitting on your throne of omnipotence right now, <laughs> yeah. looking down at your regal competitors. Are you going to hold on to maintain this victory? It's, it's pretty nice up here. I'm going to try. He likes the weather up top, atop of the movie category. Our first question is, name the actor who is the only Lord of the Rings actor to meet the author of the books, Max. That would have to be Christopher Lee, I'm guessing. Is it Christopher Lee? It is Christopher <laughs> Lee, the big sixer for Max. McCoy, the heat is on. Let's see if he gets this next question right. Our next movie question is, name the actor who voiced Woody in Toy Story. We have a Pixar fan in the house. Is it McCoy? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Is it Tom Hanks? Ding, ding, ding. It is Tom Hanks. The big two points for, Jacks, for McCoy. We're down to our final three questions left, contestants. Still relatively anyone's game. How are you feeling? Okay, our next question is, <laughs> name the actor who portrays Harley Quinn in the DC Cinematic Universe. Jackson. Margot Robbie. Is he a Margot Robbie fan? <laughs> he sure is. Yes. Who is it? Six points for Max. Four points for Jackson. Two points for McCoy. McCoy, you can still get some bragging rights here if he's last two right. Jackson playing for the tie at this point. Would you be comfortable with the tie? Not at all. I'm here for the win. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll settle. I love your confidence. Our next movie question is, name the actor who portrayed Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street. Max, you flew in there. Would that be, oh my God, why can't I think of his name all of a sudden? Snooze, you lose Max. Jackson, yep. you bust in second. Leonardo DiCaprio. Does he want a nice, cool glass of Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. He sure That's does. Yeah. Getting dirty money, the finance man, Jordan Belford. Jackson, you got it. <laughs> Our final movie question is... Name the actor who might be the next James Bond, but is better known for his role as Heimdall Ooh. in Thor. Max. That would be Idris Elba. Is it Idris Elba? It sure is. And with that, we can crown ourselves our very first winner of the Maverick Showdown. There's no more questions, correct? There's no more questions. Max, you are the episode one first winner sitting confidently awesome. with your seven points. Max, how's it feel to win the first ever episode of the Maverick Showdown? Feels pretty nice, you know? I came in with uh, no expectations whatsoever, so I'm just sky high right now. Sky high right now is Max Moreland. He is our winner of the Maverick Showdown. And that'll do it here. Be sure as our next episode of Maverick Showdown will be just right around the corner. Thank you to our test participating. I've been Sean Sullivan, and this has been the Maverick Showdown.